we are closer to reach our goal. Which is 2000 horsepower plus plus. That's what he has promised us. Yeah. Uh, 2000 horsepower will uh, make sure to reach that. <laughs> Great news, we got parts two weeks from uh, ordering uh, from uh, Brian Tully Racing. We have our new block, our new crankshaft, lots of parts, camshaft, conrods. Not seen any of the parts yet, it will be a part of my unwrapping uh, thing. Dallas, eight counterweight crankshafts. So we got some extra counterweights in the center to have uh, the rotating assembly more balanced. So when running 2000 horsepower plus and uh, 8000 RPMs, the rotating assembly needs to be in good shape. <laughs> Lots of goodies here. Shim packs to make sure uh, uh, my valve springs have the correct seat pressure. Johnson lifters, some of the best in the market in uh, wooden uh, hydraulic lifters. These got pressure fed roller bearings. As you can see here, we have uh, oil pressure going directly into the bearings to the rollers. So they, these are, these have the extra good stuff done to them. Dart cam bearings that uh, follows the accessory kit. They have a oil slot, 360 degrees all around the cam bearing. So you will have uh, uh, lots of oil uh, all the time on the camshaft. Very nice uh, set of bearings. Well, the galley plugs and uh, the, sm the small stuff. Just a bunch of accessories for the block. Brian Tooley camshaft. We'll keep the data for ourselves for now. Hydraulic roller cam. We were thinking about doing a mechanic, mechanical camshaft, but uh, we'll, we'll stick with roller for now. Yeah, as always, Brian Tooley's camshafts are lovely pieces of uh, work. Some more accessories for the dark, dark block. Valley pan, the fasteners for the valley pan. This block got splayed uh, cap bolts. So we'll need special valley pans and uh, bolts and accessories to have, uh, to have the valley pan fitted. And we got ourselves uh, the new Conrod uh, kit. We went with all of our racing uh, I-beam rods. Heard lots of good stuff about this. Very nice piece. Really looking forward to do the sample work and uh, machine work and uh, to have everything smooth and nice. Last but not least, the heart of the engine, the block. Thanks to Brian Tooley, they had the high tensile strength Dart Block LS in stock. This is uh, with the extra powerful casting. This is the 5.3 block, the truck block, junkyard, and whatever. Uh, it has the traditional cap design. Bolts on the side, they don't really do much, but the bolts go straight down. On the dart block, they have the they have splayed caps, bigger caps, splayed caps, so the cap cannot move anywhere. The, the bolts force uh, the cap each way. And uh, they got powerful air pistons and uh, steel caps original. They don't have the side bolts as the original block has. And if, if they had matter much, uh, I think Dart would have uh, added them as well. The oil uh, system on these blocks uh, is uh, very much improved. They have a uh, main bearing priority and uh, better uh, oil feel feeding to the lifter galleys. So lots of nice improvements uh, Dart have uh, added uh, to their blocks. One other thing that uh, 
we observe. I'm no expert in all the th stuff, but there's some things you can see with your bare eyes. There are, of course, six bolts. There's more material around the cylinders, around the water jacket. You see it's uh, much less uh, material. Uh, the stock locks usually cracks around these areas because uh, there is not much material there. You can actually change lifters with uh, taking off the valleys, but not the, the stock block. You cannot change the lifters without taking off the heads. I've started to plan the new uh, turbo setup. We placed a mock-up engine in, into the car, and uh, I've decided to go for a uh, quad turbo setup. It, the, the decision has been made, so we will run four turbos. Uh, I've found the placing on them, and started to look at different designs of manifolds and. Yeah, well, how to build the manifolds correct and uh, for them to flow enough for the horsepower we are going to put out. 2000 horsepower is, uh, is no joke. When it comes to the chassis, to be able to run a seven second uh, ET as I wanted to do this year, I have to build a new roll cage. But it's so much work, it's so much money, and it takes so much time. I, I, be, I won't be able to finance it and I don't have time for it, so we will use the chest and roll cage as is. I need to have a bigger uh, tunnel for the transmission to be able to take down the tra transmission uh, if something happens without taking out the engine. I will try to reduce the weight on the car. As uh, earlier stated, the car is heavy. We plan to reduce the weight quite a lot, remove as much unnecessary stuff as uh, Possible. See what we, what the car can do this year. We will make more room for bigger tires, increase the width and the height, so we can uh, we can max out the allowed tires in the STSS class. The small tire stock suspension only allows 28.10 and a half tires. That's the maximum tires in the small tire stock suspension uh, class. I am on the limit of uh, a 27 10.2. It, it does scratch on my fenders. Well, we will make more room everywhere to have the 28.10 and a half tire on. Try to get our 60 foot uh, slightly better. The plan is to max out the allowed ET for the car, for the chassis. Drastically increase the speed. We will strip the car uh, totally down and have this uh, delivered to the chassis guy next weekend. And he'll start making more room for tires and, uh, the bi and bigger uh, room for the transmission. If the transmission fails during the season, we can take it out without taking the engine out.